Welcome back to World Defenders, everybody. Going to take a look at Shadow Realm today. It's a very popular board because it's really quick, and it definitely is challenging because uh, I think there's only 15 different waves, and so you've got to be very efficient with the towers that you place and where you place them. While we're waiting for our game to load up, huge shout out to my boys Lucas and CJ. You the real ones, fellas. You the real ones. All right. So there's a lot of different types of loadouts you can use for this board. And Cyclops is a really good starter tower. I'm going to see if I can win this board without using Cyclops. So before we hit up Shadow Realm, let's look at Infinite Mode. And yep, there I am right there, 119. Still going strong. It's the 13th of June, and so we have about 15 more, right around 15 more days. I have to go look at the at the timestamp at the beginning of the board here. But I think we're roughly about 15 days out. And so hopefully, like I said, number one's not the goal. The, the goal is to be in the top 10. And I'm hoping that I can establish that. So we're not going to do infinite mode. We're going to do story mode here and Shadow Realm. Difficulty impossible. Let's get rid of these pets. And we're going to do normal mode. Now take a look at my loadout. I'm going to strictly use Pandora's box. I haven't used Medusa on this board when I originally started playing it, but I am going to today. We have the Orc Tower that gives a nice little boost. And then Set is always a good tower to use. And then we have Splatoon and, if possible, Galactic Emperor. Let's just do normal mode. There's no real rush here. I'm not even wearing my Galactic... I keep forgetting the name of the champion, but the one that gives the power boost. We're going to put this Pandora right over here. And... You can see, Mummy's only 75. Moonstaff takes care of him real quick. Actually, I should have placed him right over here. We're already off to a bad decision. That's okay. Everything should work out in the end. Look at that. Really quick. Oh, one Mummy. Oh, I guess I can't reach that far. Toast. We'll put our second Pandora right over here. There we go. So these two Pandoras will take care of everything on the sides, and as I said, I did a bad placement with this first Pandora, I should have put them over here. No worries though, I think we'll be a-okay. Wave 4, you can see on normal mode I don't get a lot of money, what was that, roughly $3,000, $2,000? So not much, which is what makes this board an, another challenge. If you don't get a lot of money. And then on top of it, there's only 15 waves, and we're already at wave 4. So, people typically say this is a really good board to use if you want to get your win streaks going. We'll put this Pandora right here. And like anything, once you play this world a few times and get used to where the enemies are coming out from, for example, I know that the enemy with the highest health is going to come out of this tunnel first. They'll be coming out of the other ones, but it usually starts out over here, and then the boss is going to come out on this big tunnel over here. So that's why I'm placing my towers in these positions right now. 14,000 to upgrade. I want to get this Pandora to tier 4, which is going to be 22,000, and then 60,000 right after that. It's about 82,000 in order to get him going. And then I'm going to place two Medusas right here with one Medusa over here. And we're going to see if this works. Sometimes it's just the randomization of where these enemies come out. And not only where they come out, but also what track that they take. There's been times where a strong health enemy would come out here and he would go straight. Well, if that happens, then you're kind of doomed. But if any of them turn and take the long route, then you have a fighting chance. Warrior Mummy. Warrior Mummy. Oh, look at his eye. That was cool. I never saw that before. Look at this Pandora to 22, which should be in a few seconds here. And 22. There we go. So now he's doing 875 damage per second. Now, 
his attack speed is two per second. So that's why they show it at 437.5, but it's actually uh, two attack speed per second. So you just multiply this number by two, essentially. And the Warrior Mummy is only 300, so I'll take him out in one blast here. One blast here. We'll wait for 10,000, and we'll go with a Medusa. Right here. And let's put this Medusa on strongest. I don't know how effective Medusa works with these settings here. But the reason I want this Medusa on strongest is that way when a bunch of these mummies come out and then they send out one of the stronger health enemies, higher enemies, that this Medusa will go after that tower rather than some of these weaker mummies just running around here. So I have no worries just yet. Again, Cyclops would take all of these out really fast without having to upgrade. But... That's when the downfalls of Pandora. It's a really good tower, but you really need to get to about 60,000, that tier four for some good damage. We'll put another Medusa right over here, and we'll say strongest as well. You absolutely have to have Medusa if you're playing infinite mode. If you don't do that, you won't even come close any of the top 10 on the leaderboard it's not even it, it's not even possible really hey, there he is right there so 5,000 and 50 there it is sorcerer 50,000 hopefully Medusa can yep see there we go Medusa took that one out and oh we're not even getting at him right now now we are almost at 60,000 let's get to that 60,000 and look, I go from 875 to almost 3,000. That's huge. So let's work both sides now. 30. Oh no, I did the right. I meant to. I'm not paying attention over here. 14,000. Oh my gosh. See, not even paying attention. Let's do 22. That's just unfortunate. Wait for 60,000 over here. We can put another Medusa. We'll put another Medusa right over here to help out in the middle. If we can get the 60,000 on this side, oh, we can do 15. Ah, all right, let's wait. 60,000, there we go. Oh, that Medusa got this guy. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice helper. Now we'll upgrade this Pandora. We actually might be okay. This might actually work out nice. Another up, oh, we're almost there. 60,000. There we go. Now we're in a really good spot. Look at that. We're at wave 14. See how fast this is going? I don't know if I want to upgrade. These Medusas. Just yet, yeah, I accidentally upgraded that one. The next upgrade for tier five is. See, look at we're at the boss already. I can put a couple eighty down. Maybe we'll just let Pandora handle it, or I could go three hundred thousand here. Yeah, let's go three hundred thousand. Can't go wrong with Galactic Emperor ever. There we go. So that Galactic Emperor, 5,000 right out of the gate. And look how Medusa just freezing these enemies over here. That way, these Pandora, actually, all my towers won't even have to worry about these just yet. They're going to take out Shadow Anubis. That's right. I really have to write this down and memorize these. Yep, and he turned. See? Look at that. Turn. That's exactly what I want. Oh, and let's not forget about the Orc Tower. That's crazy. I can't believe I forgot about the Orc Tower. Now we're at a 14% boost. And now we're back to a 10% boost, but the range is farther. Now at 200,000, we get that 25% boost. And look at this. 
I don't have to upgrade anymore. Over with and done. Gone, goodbye. Oh, and I get a challenge complete reward as well. Very nice. Oh, another one. Just my lucky day today. All right, very good. Very good. All right, so there we have it. Pandora, Medusa, Orc Tower, and Galactic Emperor. One, two, three, four. Just those four towers get you going. So I appreciate everyone watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Turn on the notification bell. And I appreciate the support. And have everyone have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.